Okay, hey YouTube, welcome to my Friday update. Although, I'm pretty slow at editing, so it's almost a Saturday update. <laughs> These are usually released around about midnight, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, so on to Thought Park. Uh, okay, a lot of stuff, not a lot of stuff's been happening today. Um, I'm going to have a trip report, information about Fright Nights, and some information about their new hotel, or hangout area that they're being advertised. Okay, first on to my Fright Nights trip. I enjoyed Thought Park on the 20th of October. It was a really good event. I would recommend anyone who hasn't been to Fright Nights yet to get there for the last week. It's just amazing. We didn't actually get on that many mazes as it was really busy. Um, I, we're, there were about 90 minute queues for most of the roller coasters. The rides were 30, 40 minutes. And according to some other reports, um, the curse was three hours. And the other mazes being around about an hour to two hours. Um, thanks to Thought Park Mania, we got on the tour of Experiment 10. That was really good. The Q&A session at the end just put out any questions. And then getting the first ride of the day just made it perfect. Um, Samurai, you have to go on this ride. It's been fixed, it's open again. And they've got some new smoke machines underneath it. So it just makes the ride experience so much better. I really would recommend going on it. Um, yeah, as I've said earlier, it was a very busy day Saturday. But although tomorrow... Saturday the 27th I think it said it's going to be very busy Thought Park have n announced limited amount of tickets left and the passing sold out okay and on to Thought Park's new hotel which is called the Crash Pad um, it's a series of crates Thought Park well Merlin style as you may have noticed they've done a lot of crates for their shops and stuff but it's a large amount of crates that are piled up, piled up and the insides have been converted into fairly cramped bedrooms here's a view of the inside bedroom as you can see it's quite modern but very cramped these rooms can hold up to four people and according to the pricings at Thought Park that's £256 for four people meaning it's £64 per person. That's quite good seeing as it's a two day trip. Um, yeah, These are new and they're going to be located next to the entrance. If you walk into the Th um, Thought Park and you go over the bridge to your right where you can see the big banners is where they're going to be placed. So it's going to be quite quick entry into the park as technically you don't even leave. Um, Uh, these are probably going to be quite bland, but they work for what they are. As they've said, they're crash pads, therefore they're being aimed towards teenagers and young adults. Um, I think these are going to work quite well in some of the events like Fright Nights, as we can tell, some Ministry of Sound um, nightclubs. Um, they've, they have told us that the dome is going to be open with Bar 360 for tea and there's going to be evening entertainment, comedy, gigs, that kind of thing. Uh, the rides are not open, <laughs> as some people might, want, not, might not realise that. They do close at a certain time. Um, yeah, that's it. This was my Friday update. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more. I release them every Friday. And goodbye.